Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I have a Marvel Universe figure to review. You can see here I have two of them. I picked up these a couple weeks ago. Uh, Hasbro Toy Shop had a, a free shipping thing going on. I got on there and just swooped up a couple of these and some other stuff. Very cool. This is the Red Hand Ninja. Number 24. I believe that's from the uh, first series. It's got the uh, Nick Fury on there and the Shield logo. A couple other figures that were released. Very cool. This is by Hasbro in 2008. So let's take a quick break and we'll get one of these guys out of the package. Alright, guys, and we are back with the Red Hand Ninja. Uh, first off, uh, being an older figure, it still comes with the top secret file card. Um, then you get inside a superhuman registration card. Very cool. On the back, get a picture of the hand ninja. And then you also get the little uh, top secret letter, which is okay, but nothing real special to me. Um, he does come with a couple accessories. Uh, first off, the very long... A staff with the blade on the end. I don't even know what you call this. A spear, I guess, but just kind of a weird blade. Um, one thing I think is pretty cool, it has the uh, red tape around it, which is really awesome. That's a nice little touch to it. <clears throat> and he also comes with a sword, which is a pretty basic. Got a black handle, a gold hilt or whatever, and a silver blade. And you also get a, a knife. Just a black handle and silver blade. Um, they're all pretty flimsy, whatever, not real high quality, but uh, pretty basic for a three three quarter inch figure. Their weapons usually seem to be more rubbery and whatnot. But uh, onto the Red Hand Ninja, very cool. He's got actually got a really nice paint job on this guy. <clears throat> you can see that it's got kind of a nice shine to it. Looks pretty cool. It's got kind of two tones of red. It's got like kind of a a lighter red and then you got your darker deeper like blood red which on my camera kind of all that damn light always seems to make the red look a little pinkish but uh, it's a really nice red looks really cool um, doesn't have too much wash into it but it does have a little bit of shading in there make it look pretty cool very awesome uh, this of course was the first hand ninja release they also released a white version and a black version um, this is the only one that is single carded, but uh, very cool. They all have the same sculpt. Got the nice uh, shin guards and everything. Very cool. His articulation, he has just a uh, pin jointed head. Doesn't really go up and down that well. Just kind of rocks back and forth a little bit. Uh, ball jointed shoulder, a single jointed elbow, and a swivel at the wrist. Uh, he does have a really nice torso joint, which moves around really good. Yeah, he does have a waist swivel, which is nice that he has both of those. Uh, usually it's one or the other. Um, does have your uh, standard little ball joint at the hips. Um, it's a little bit hindered by his uh, cloth here, the skirt or whatever. But it has slits in it, so it, it doesn't hinder it too bad. And it's pretty rubbery too. Um, double jointed knees and just kind of ball jointed feet. So uh, very nice. I uh, really like these uh, hand ninjas. Very cool. And I picked up two of them just to, uh, you know, kind of army build them. I'm not really going crazy with the Marvel Universe army building or anything, but uh, I like to pick up two of them if I can, when I can. But anyways, that was the Red Hand Ninja. Thanks for checking them out.